So one of my goals this year was to learn how to make moccasins. I specifically wanted to make a pair of soft-soled moccasins that I could take hunting with me. And that allows you to sneak up on deer or elk a lot better, not have a hard-soled boot that just crunches the ground and alerts the deer, but something that will protect your feet, but is soft that you can feel the earth as you're walking on it and uh, not be as noisy. I researched uh, moccasin styles. There are a lot of different moccasin styles, but the one I chose to go with was called the soft-soled side seam moccasin, and that's what I have here. Um, it's basically a piece of leather that's folded over and stitched down the side and then on the back. And this is my first attempt. It's a prototype. I got a pattern just based on my foot size. I have a pretty big foot. It's a size 13. And now I'm going to make a pair of moccasins for hunting. Um, and I'm going to use this dark leather. What this leather is, is a brain tanned leather that I was given from a fellow YouTuber named uh, Ben Jones. His YouTube channel is Tribe of Benjamin. I would show how to do brain tanning, but uh, Ben did such a good job. I would just suggest if you want to learn how to brain tan deer hide and leather, go to Tribe of Benjamin's channel. When you're done brain tanning, you get this really soft white leather that's just incredible, but it's not waterproof. So what Ben did was smoke this with some punky wood and that smoke just makes this dark chocolate color. It smells really good. It's really strong campfire smoky smell. Ben had so much work into this and I just want to honor his hard work on tanning this hide um, by making a pair of moccasins that I hunt with. And I'll show you that now. The first step in making moccasins is to measure your foot size and come out with a basic pattern. I like this soft seam because you can just use one piece of uh, one pattern and you don't use too much leather. I'll be able to, out of this one hide, make two pair of matching moccasins. And this is basically the pattern that I came up with trial and error just on a piece of fabric and then wrapping it around my foot to get the right size. And how it works is basically this side folds over to this side and then this comes up and this becomes your foot. So I'll cut out my two matching pairs out of this hide and then show you how I stitch it up. It's really pretty simple. It's basically only two stitch seams and uh, the traditional method is to stitch it with sinew, um, but I'm going to use some linen thread just because I'm hunting with these and it might be getting a little wet and um, I just want them to last. So here we go. I'll cut out that um, pattern. So here's my two moccasin patterns. I didn't even use that much of the hides and they're pretty much the same pattern I just flipped it over so that hair side out uh, can be on both feet um, they're just opposite after uh, you're done cutting them out the next step is to test the fit and then we're gonna start sewing the way this pattern here works um, it's cut right to my foot so you put your foot there flip over and then there's a seam along here and then we're gonna sew it there and then there's also cut in the back and sew up the back so the next step here is to sew along this seam. So the first stitch I'm gonna do is right at the toe where this folds over. And I'm flipping it inside out so it's a hidden stitch. So the part that you want to be the outside of your shoe, you actually sew so that it's the inside. I'm gonna have hair side out. So I'll fold it in and this is the flesh side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start sewing, put, bring these, toe, these lines together and sew along this seam and then you stop right about here where this um, ankle starts. To sew this up I'm using just a standard needle and some linen thread. It's very strong and will work for our purposes. Uh, they have special leather needles. I would suggest if you have one use that. It has a cutting tip. I just went to the sewing kit and got the needle with the biggest eye that would fit my thread. That needle nose pliers really helps get that needle through the um, thick leather and you can just get started. I'm going to tie that off several times with a double overhand knot. But now that we're started uh, with that, that stitch, we're going to keep going up and along here. So I'll show you as we progress just how it looks.
So once you've sewn up the seam to where your ankle is going to be, you just fold that 90 degree along the same edge that you've been sewing and uh, continue your stitch and it will make it look more like a moccasin than just a piece of leather. Also you noticed I didn't sew all the way to the very top. That way I could leave a little tab to fold over which helps when putting on your moccasins. The next step is to trim the back of the leather so that the edges fold nicely around the heel of your foot. At the base of the back of the heel, you'll notice there's an extra little tab of leather that you'll need to fold in. Uh, you're now ready to stitch up the back seam on your moccasins. This is what it looks like when the seams on the back and the side of the moccasins are complete. You're now ready to turn it right side out and fit it onto your foot. You'll notice this style of moccasin is more like a slipper and doesn't have any laces to hold it onto your foot. You'll also notice when you sew up that back seam, uh, the moccasin no longer easily slides around the heel of your foot. Uh, to fix this, you carefully cut that seam right there and cut it just big enough so that it will fit back around the back of your foot. If done properly, they'll fit perfectly on your feet and not come off. I've hiked many, many miles in this pair of moccasins and haven't had any trouble with them coming loose. This pair of hunting moccasins look good and feel really comfortable on my feet. It's not necessary, but the final step I did was to fold the top of the moccasin on itself and then sewed it with a hidden stitch. I just think it looks better and uh, it's not that much work to reinforce that top. The way you do a hidden stitch is you only put the needle halfway through the part of the leather that's going to show and it still holds that edge down without making an obvious seam. This archery season I hiked many many miles with this pair of moccasins and was impressed with how comfortable they are and how quiet they are. As you walk along the ground you can feel the little sticks and not step on them and have them crack. Being quiet and being able to sneak up is critical when you're trying to stalk close to game, especially when you're hunting with primitive archery gear. But with a little bit of wind and a good pair of moccasins, you'd be really impressed with just how close you can get to some bedded deer.